Hey everyone, this is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher. I am coming to you from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, glasses are going to be coming on and off a little bit. Um, I just don't like the glare, okay? So, but I can't see without them. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm coming to you, today is Sunday. Everybody enjoy my little day trip from Friday. I posted that yesterday. Um, so Friday, I did not post a video because... My husband decided to take a day off and I'm going to tell you all about it um, and I'm going to show you everything we did. Okay, so I am coming to you from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan where it is snowy and cold, um, but spring is near. It's got to be near. Um, is that hair? Oh, God. I'm a hot mess. I am a hot mess this weekend. So um, if you're expecting like a spectacular show on Monday... It's, <laughs> it may not happen, but uh, we're working on it. Um, so it's cold and snowy here, but spring is around the corner. I can feel it. It's, it's cold and we have a lot of snow, but it is super sunny. So you can just feel the spring break, trying to break through, which is an amazing feeling. Um, it really rejuvenates everybody. The sunshine really helps, even if you're out in it for five minutes, it is just like an amazing feeling. So I am feeling a little bit more re-energized and um, feeling like cleaning my house and getting things in order and, and that sort of thing. So that is a good feeling. <clears throat> um, so for those of you who are new here, um, we do a lot of fun stuff. My videos are kind of all over the board. They're about stitching, they're about quilting, they're about crafting, they're about everything from making wreaths and painting and finishing to, um, when I say finishing, finishing your own uh, cross stitch projects to sewing pillows to everything. I do a little bit of everything here and I try and teach you a little bit of everything. Um, I have been crafting for forever. I, I have never known my life without some sort of craft in it. Um, so I am, I don't want to say I'm an expert at many things. I'm good at many things. I know how to do a lot of things. <laughs> but um, like in my applique video the other day, um, I'm not an expert at needle turn applique by no means by no means. And I had uh, a few people comment and tell me, you know, this would help and that would help. And absolutely, I can use all the help I can get when it comes to needle app, needle turn applique. Um, I am by far an expert on it. And I'm sure there are tons of tips and tricks that a more experienced applicator could, applicator could give me. Um, and I would appreciate that. Um, I love that. Um, it's just not my path. That area of um, quilting is not my passion. <laughs> if I'm going to applique, I'm going to do it the, the one of the first two ways. Um, but I know enough to make myself dangerous, I guess. So, so if you're new here and you lo you're loving the content and you're loving the ups and downs and you're loving the roller coaster ride, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit uh, make a comment. Um, let me know that you're new here. I would love to hear from you. Um, I always love to see a new subscribers, new commenters, new names. I, I love it. For those who have been with me for over a year now, welcome back. You are the heart and soul of this channel. You are the reason I am doing all of this. Um, I want to bring you guys great content and great adventures and great tips and tricks and skills. I want to broaden your horizons when it comes to crafting and stitching and sewing and everything. So with that said, let me tell you, there's not going to be much stitching today. I'm going to do a stitching and review tomorrow. Um, today, I want to go over um, the fun stuff we did on Friday because you kind of got a fun clip of what we did um, yesterday in a, in a quick video, a quick shopping video. So Friday, my husband woke up and I was like, the alarm didn't go off. Something's wrong here. I'm like, oh my God, you're late. You're late. And he goes, I took the day off. 
And I was like, yay. But then I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm already three hours late for my day. And you know, my whole, my whole being and my whole type A personality just went into panic mode because I'm like, I needed to do this and this and this and this and this, and this is what my day was planned. And I panicked. <clears throat> he goes, no, I took the day off. I've had enough of work this week. And he's got a ton of vacation time he's got to use. So it's at the point now where like every other Friday he should be taking off. So um, that'll be a good thing. That'll be good. He needs the rest. So he took the day off and I'm like, well, what are we going to do? Are we just going to hang out here, do our normal weekend stuff? Are we going to, he's like, no, let's take a ride somewhere. Let's just get out of the house for the day. And I said, all right. So we took off and we went to Green Bay which is about an hour and a half south of us. Um, and they have lots of fun things to do there. Green Bay is fun. We don't go there often. We I go there maybe four or five times a year, like on girl day shopping trips. Him and I only maybe go there twice a year together or if we're passing through somewhere. But I said, well, we need to go to Fleet Farm. We need to go to Kohl's. We, need, we needed things. He needed socks and underwear and T-shirts. And he just, you know, he's a guy. He doesn't... He doesn't get those things unless they're absolutely necessary. And they were absolutely necessary because doing laundry, I've been pitching stuff all winter and he's, he's low. And we needed new pots and pans. <clears throat> we, he bought pots and pans during his second, after his second divorce. So that was like 20 years ago. And he had bought a beautiful set of pots and pans. They've held up really well. They held up through five kids going through our house, through teenage cooking, all sorts of stuff, you know, just pounding the crap out of them and just making a mess and beating them and bending them. And, oh, they were awful. So we've needed new pots and pans for a couple of years now and we keep procrastinating. So we did go down and we looked at Kohl's and we picked out a set of pots and pans that um, we think will work for us. Um, if they don't work for us, then we've got five kids to give them to somebody who's going to need new pots and pans, and then we'll go out and purchase a new set. set. But then, you know, you're in Kohl's, you're in the cooking department, and you're like, we need new spatulas, we need new spoons, we need new whisks, we need new utensils, we need new, you know, it, the list just goes on and on and on. All the things we haven't upgraded since before the kids, you know, because um, you just don't want to upgrade too much because not that they're destructive but you know things wear out and you don't want to give them like brand new anything because <laughs> so I had been kind of piecemealing things together th throughout the you know raising kids so we stocked up on a whole bunch of stuff um at Kohl's and then I had said to him I said we either need to stop at the thrift store a craft store or a dollar store I said so that I can do some filming and make some content and of course, we're going to have a good lunch and I'm having dessert somewhere <laughs> because everywhere in Green Bay has like an amazing dessert. So we went to um, Harbor Freight and right next to the Harbor Freight in Green Bay has this amazing Goodwill thrift store. Um, and for those of you who are out of the country, Goodwill is like a nationwide thing and they're just kind of a thrift store. You can donate your stuff. They reprocess it and they kind of put it out for sale and it's things are it's really super cheap and it's just kind of a, it's a thrift store. It is huge. Um, we don't have a, a Goodwill here in Iron, in Iron Mountain here, but we do have like St. Vincent's de Paul's. We have several of those, which are sm much smaller. Um, this Goodwill is massive. <clears throat> and now I they have two in Green Bay that I absolutely love. And I could spend all day at both of them. All day. Because they're both of them are huge like that. They're clean. They're well organized. They're well taken care of. They're just amazing, amazing thrift stores. Okay. And then G Green Bay also has several smaller craft or thrift stores like that. Like the St. Vincent de Paul's and some small neighborhood thrift stores and stuff like that. I got them to one, which I was totally thankful for. So, <coughs> a little dry spot in my throat. <clears throat> so, I'm, I got to reach a little bit. Sorry, I put this kind of far away. So, I sent him into Harbor Freight because he's not a huge thrifter. 
he'll do a little bit, but he's, he's very broad when he shops. <clears throat> so I sent him into Harbor Freight. I said, I need my chip brushes. This is, <clears throat> these are the chip brushes that I buy from Harbor Freight. Okay. These are the ones you're going to see me painting with all the time. They're just disposable. Um, one inch. I'll put them up here. Chip brushes. I bought two boxes because they were on sale. You get a box of 36 for like $6. So they're, they're incredibly economical. Um, just for throwaway brushes. You can clean them. You can, you can clean them and you can wash them. You can do whatever, but I tend to just use them at my project, pitch them. Um, if I'm going to be using them for like a whole weekend worth of projects, I will wash them or put them in baggies and that's kind of stuff and try and use them for a whole weekend. But these are, and let me see, I'll, I'll put the number up. You can order from Harbor Freight online. Also, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really love these chip brushes. These are the best things ever. Um, <clears throat> they work out to be really, really, really cheap. Um, they have different sizes. They have half inch, they have one inch, they have two inch, and they have like two and a half inch, I think. So you can get different sizes. But I found the one inch size is um, what works best for me. So I'm just going to kind of put those on the floor. <clears throat> so while he was in there buying that for me, I was in Goodwill. Now, um... You've seen a couple of the things that I bought. I, I was showing you, all right? So this little tray, this little tiered tray. Well, it's candy dish. But tiered trays are so popular right now. So this is, and I got to clean it up. This is just a metal tier tray, metal candy dish. I am going to flip, flip this. Well, I'm going to refurbish this with some chalk paint. I'm going to bright, wash it up, brighten it up because I'm not a silver person. Or I might distress it or do something with it. And I'm going to put my little cross stitches and my little stuff on it. So it's very mid-century modern kind of here. But doesn't say I can't put a bow there. <coughs> I can't country fly it. 99 cents. 99 cents. <clears throat> All right, so I grabbed that. And then I think you've seen me kind of grabbing, looking at this paddle. This is not my style at all. This is all painted. And while it's beautiful, I grabbed this for the shape. And it's big. It's a big paddle. I grabbed this for the shape because I can mount a really big cross stitch onto this and doll this up. I grabbed it for the shape. So this will get refinished into something else. So, and this was, let me grab my glasses. <clears throat> you know, I'm always totally fine. And then I hit the record button and I get itchy nose and scratchy throat. This was $3.99. So for a paddle this big, that is a great deal. And it's wood, it's solid wood. So I'm always looking for stuff like this, okay? So that I have a fun plan for too. <clears throat> and then my husband was like looking through stuff and he's seen this little frame. And how cute is that? He's just drawn, I said, honey, I have tons of frames. He goes, yeah, but you have one with like these little bumps in it and this little detail to it. He goes, I really like that. <laughs> so... For 99 cents, I was like, throw it in the cart. I'll, I'll find something. He goes, for one of your cute little finishes, he goes, that would be so cute in the light wood. He likes the wood. He likes wood look. So I'm sure I will find a cute something to put that in. The little stand is broken off of it, but I'm never, no, never mind to that. That's not a big deal to me. So he was bent on getting this <laughs> because of this cute little detail on it. So definitely we grab that. Now the other thing I'm always looking for, and this is going to be a real, this is on the short list of tutorials because now I have all the supplies for it. And this is going to be a fun thing I'm going to do for you guys. I've been wanting to do forever is I find these little, um, I don't even know what they're for. I think they're like jello molds They're and they're copper, cute little jello molds. And they all have like different designs. These were 99 cents. 
And I have a whole stack of these. Let me see if I can get that sticker off. Yeah, see, they all have little designs indented in the bottom. And they're all different. Um, so I have a plan for these. So I'm always on the lookout for these. And these are just little, they're like little, I think they were like jello molds or pudding molds or I I don't know. I am not a real good cook. I can cook and my food tastes good. I just don't enjoy cooking. It's just not my favorite thing in the world. I, I cook to survive. I don't cook for enjoyment. Um, so, but these are cute and I have a plan for these. So stay tuned for those. So that was our, um, that was Harbor Freight and Goodwill. Okay. So I'm thinking, okay, now we're going to Fleet Farm. We're going to Kohl's. We're going to lunch. We're going home. He pulls into a quilt shop that I've been, we've been to before. And he knew exactly where it was because he knows his way around. I just ride. Pulls into a quilt store. I was like, whew, this is my lucky day. So he's like, I'm tired. He goes, I'm just waiting in the truck. Take your time. Do your filming. Do whatever you're going to do. He goes, I'm going to just close my eyes and or read my phone and rest my feet and stuff like that. I'm like, all right. So we go into, it's called My Favorite Quilt Shop in Green Bay. It's over on, I want to say, Dousman Street. Um, It's super cute. If you Google it, if you Google My Favorite Quilt Shop, in Green Bay, it's going to give you, it's going to go to Google Maps. She has a website. She has everything. Google Maps will bring you right to it. It's over by the Perkins on Dousman, right around Dousman Street. Um, it is the cutest little quilt store. Um, it's kind of, you walk into it and you think you're almost in a basement, but you're not. It's in a kind of a, it's in a weird location and you have to kind of go in through the back. <coughs> and... I've been in there several times and over the years, she has really, really grown her fabric stash in that shop. It is packed. Every corner of that store is packed with fabric and patterns and kits and quilts and threads and uh, it, it, amazing, amazing selection. And she doesn't just have like a one you know, some shops have one feel to them. Hers, she has a, such a huge selection. If you're going in there looking for Civil War, you're going to find it. Batiks, you're going to find it. Holiday, you're going to find it. Panels, you're going to find it. 30s, you're going to find it. Kids, you're going to find it. Flannel, you're going to find it. She has wool. She has cork. She has big um, accessories. She has everything in this store. It is an amazing little store. Um... And I really hope you enjoyed the tour of it. It was a real fast tour. But if you ever get there, definitely stop by and check it out. So I alone have a quilt store in my sewing room. So I really don't need a lot of stuff. But I think I've been telling you guys that I've, I'm getting the itch to sew. The long arm is coming here, right? The long arm is coming. I want to have some quilt tops ready so that when that long arm gets here, I can just jump on and do it. I don't want to have to, I, I, I want to be prepared. So I have been wanting to do this Lori Holt um, prim sew along. And now this is a, this is, this pattern is a couple years old. Okay. This is a couple of years old. She did this 2018, maybe. So you can get this on her website. Um, be in, be in my bonnet. If you go to her site or Riley Blake, um, you can download kind of the basic what to do's. Okay. Um, but I know the pattern is available on fat quarter shop. And I also have the, the prim, the so simple, the shapes. Okay. This is what the so simple shapes. And these are the applique shapes. They all come up big. They're everything you need to make this quilt. Okay. So I have had this in my stash for a long time. I've been wanting to do this. Um, so if anybody's interested in doing a sew along with me, I'm going to do this. 
Um, I don't have not decided which style of applique I'm going to do if I'm going to do the fusible web or if I'm going to do the fusible interfacing. I have not quite decided yet. So, but I, I've had this for a long time. Um, but a lot of my fabrics are more primitive colors, darker colors, more thimble berries and Kansas troubles and Civil War colors and deeper colors. I don't have a lot of brights. I don't have a lot of um, floral stuff like that. So what I did was I grabbed a charm pack. Because with applique, you just need small pieces. And I thought, okay, I'll grab a charm pack of 30s. This is the charm pack I grabbed, okay. So I can kind of play around with that with the small pieces. And then I grabbed a whole bunch of fat corners. And so these are some of the fat corners I grabbed. And the, those were like in the 30s bins. And then I kind of walked around the store and I thought, okay, I don't want it all to be 30s prints. I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. I want some interest to it. So I have found these in similar colorways that I thought, okay, I can, I can mix and match and blend with those to show some interest. Okay, so I picked that up. And then I picked up a yard of this blue gingham um, because I had never really seen the blue around before. So um, I grabbed a yard of that. I don't know if that'll go into this quilt or not. A little bit might, but it, this is perfect for finishing, finishing projects. I love to have the different ginghams. So I grabbed that. Um, and then I came home and I kind of, I was like all excited about this quilt. So I have pulled kind of from my scrap basket, my small pieces, I've pulled other pieces that I think can kind of get used in this quilt. You know, small pieces in those same bright kind of colors. You know, so I kind of pulled from my scrap basket. Some of them might get used, some of them may not, but you know, have them all together so I'm not just picking one line of fabric and going with it um I thought this was a cute one to add some interest this is a cute one add some interest and now like the um the little hot pad things that I just did there was so much extra fabric and those were all kind of in brighter colors but you have just small pieces left over so I'm adding some of that into there, and I have some whites, and I have some blues. Um, there's some greens, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna start this quilt. And if I say it on camera, then I'm accountable for it, okay? So if there's anybody else who has all of this stuff available to them, or would want to jump in and do this, um, the Fat Quarter Shop carries these. I checked this morning, they carry these. Um, I'm pretty sure they carry the pattern too. Otherwise, you can go on Be In My Bonnet and we can work through this together. I'm not sure if I'm going to piece it together the exact same way. I may piece it together differently. Not quite sure yet, <clears throat> um, but definitely do a sew along. And then if you have any questions as we go along, um, I can always do like little tutorials or stuff on camera to show you like if, if you're stumbling along. Okay, so then um, the owner of the store was giving away magazines. Like I need another magazine. I need a magazine like I need a hole in the head. And I haven't even had a chance to look at this, but I grabbed this little magazine. How cute is that quilt on the front? Okay, so that is what, <coughs> what we did yesterday. And then um, we went to Sammy's, and, or Friday, I'm sorry. Went to Sammy's had lunch. They are this cute little Italian restaurant right on Oneida. And it's so good. You walk in there and you just, even if you're not hungry, you're like, oh, I'm going to eat everything. We had our favorite pizza that we had there and we had our favorite dessert that we had there. And then we were going to go to a dollar store. 
we got in the truck and we're like, let's just go home. We were so full and so tired um, that we just got in the truck and went home. So that was our day on Friday and it was so much fun. We got home about five o'clock and then I worked on the video and I did all sorts of editing and I was hoping to have it up for you guys on Friday on my way home in the truck and it didn't happen. I kept getting issues with it. So, um, so it went up on Saturday morning. So then yesterday, I kind of just putzed around. I had to come home. I had to run some errands. I had to do my Walmart shopping and stuff like that. So I didn't get a whole lot done in the sewing room. But what I did do, these are so cute. I think I showed this little, this is the Annie's ornament kit for the month of, must be the month of February or March. I just got it in the mail. So, and I've been dying to do needle felting. Oh my God. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. And I'm going to be filming the tutorial today so that you're going to be able to see it on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Um, and they send so much supplies that you could just go and go and go and go and go forever. So I have three of them fully finished. I have two more that are partially finished and two more that I'm going to be showing you, you know, the step-by-step -step how to do them. So you don't only get three, you get two, four, six, seven of these cute little gnomes out of this whole kit. And of course I, did, I had to dollar up or him up or whatever, but I'm not going to just leave mine alone and mine are not just going to be for Christmas. So I, I am, these are just so adorable. Um, they're so much fun to make, um, but they take time. There, I worked on these like all day yesterday so that I, I'll be able to film for you today. These are not a fast project, but they are super, super fun to make. Um, I put my little 2022 tag on this one. How cute is that? I love it. I love it. My little gingham bow. Um, I'm not doing mine all for Christmas. I'm going to do some seasonal. I'm going to do spring, summer, fall, and winter ones. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So stay tuned for that. All right, last but not least, I want to ask you guys a question. I'm gonna be making some baby quilts and I know there's a lot, some interest in quilting and quilting tutorials and some, not, you know, maybe not all. Who is interested in get, having some quilting tutorials? It would be kind of step-by-step. -step. Um, it would be a very basic quilt and I would take you from start to finish, okay? from cutting to binding and it's not all going to be on one video it's going to be maybe like a weekly video or something like that and we'll slowly kind of go through you know this is how you do it and then I give you a week to get that part done and then the next week and then you'll have a week to get that done and then the next week and then get that done um if you're interested in it let me know if I have a good majority of people who would love to do it I will um definitely start filming th those tutorials the project I was thinking is a free project on Fat Quarter Shop, and it is called the Three Hour Gingham Baby Quilt. It so if you're interested in this, this is the project that we would be doing. You can go over to Fabric Shop and look in the patterns, and go to free patterns and look under baby quilts, and it's right there. It pops up number one. Download it and print it. It gives you a list of fabrics that are required. Let me. It gives you a list of fabrics that are required. Okay. And then you can go right into the fabric shop and shop for those fabrics. And it's going to, for the top, it's going to need a light, medium, and dark. And it really does not need a lot of fabric. Okay. It needs three quarters of a yard of light and dark and one and three eighths of a medium. I always like to bump up my fabric choices, especially with my first quilt or beginner quilt, a little bit due to error. So I would definitely go to like, say maybe a yard of light and dark and maybe a yard and a half or a yard and three quarters of the medium print. Okay. Just in case we, you miscut. Um, 
I like to give a little room for error. Um, not that I'm selling extra fabric. Um, I worked in a fabric store. I've seen it happen <laughs> lots and lots of times. And if you're mail ordering your fabric, you want it to come off the same bolt. Bolts have dye lots, just like yarn, just like thread, just like everything else. So if you're going to do this along with me, or you could pull from your stash. If you're a quilter and you want to do this, you can pull from your stash. You got to excuse my printout. My last page is really nice and dark, but my printer was running out of ink. So we're going to do this little gingham quilt. Raise your hand and let me know if, if that's something you would like to do. Um, and it will become maybe like, um, a, I don't know, one day a week, I'll, I'll post just the, the, the quilt videos. Um, and we'll go from there. So, wow, this video turned out to be a lot more talking than I thought. So, okay, I am going to let it be at that. Um, tomorrow I'm going to come back with a weekend and review everything I did because I did do some stitching and I am doing some sewing today and I'm getting some stuff done and I'm going to have some stuff to show you tomorrow. So I will be back tomorrow morning with my usual weekend in review. Um, I am going to do the Friday giveaway that I should have done on Friday tomorrow. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Um, so you did not miss it. I'm going to draw those names tomorrow and do those giveaways. Um, remember, we do have merch. We have all sorts of stuff. We have the t-shirts. I thought I'd put the t-shirt on so you can kind of see how it fits. All right. So women's clothes are hard. You know, men's YouTube channels, they're like, we have merch. We have t-shirts. Boom. Women's t-shirts are harder. Okay. I normally wear an extra large because I have, I have these things. It doesn't matter how much weight I lose. These things never go away. I usually wear an extra large. This t-shirt runs a little small. And this is the woman's flowy kind of t-shirt. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. I shook the table. I'm going to stand up so you can see how it fits. I got a 2XL. I, I bumped up one size. So you can see how it fits. And it's pretty comfortable. It's nice and long. Okay. So... I don't have anything on underneath it, but I, I, I would probably definitely wear a tank. Like if I'm wearing it out, I would wear a tank top underneath it just to kind of hold my midsection in a little bit more. And I would wear it like this. So it's a very nice fit. It's very comfortable. It's not tight in the arms at all. It fits over this generously. Um, so this is the flowy one. So if you're an extra large or 2XL, um, depending on your bust size, I would go up. Okay. I know right now, I think they're out of the extra large and somebody asked me about it. This is all through spread shop. So they're the ones they're They're the ones who carry all the, the t-shirts and the sizes, but, um, it runs a little small. So definitely size up on the t-shirts. Okay. Um, the other reason I sized up is my mother-in-law, bless her heart when she comes back from, Georgia and she's living with us. She does all my laundry <laughs> and I so appreciate that but everything hits the dryer and I'm not a dryer person. I, I hang dry most of my clothes um, but she hits everything hits the dryer. So I always tend to size up on my summer clothes because I know she's going to shrink them. <laughs> so but I love her and I, I so appreciate her doing my laundry because it's just like one more thing off my list. So um so that's where we are. But we have lots of merch. We have cups. We have tote bags. We have zip, like little zipper bags. They're seven by nine. They're a nice size zipper bag. Um, all sorts of things. So head over. The, the link is in the description below. The finishing information is in the description below. My email address is in the link below or in the description below. Everything you need to know where I shop, everything is all in that description feel free to jump down there and take a look around. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm always happy to answer emails or Instagram me. I'm, I'm a little slower on Instagram. I forget to look in that, um, in the requested, requested message area. So, all right, that is all for today. Wow, that was a lot of information. So, when you're out and about in the world, please be kind, spread love, and find peace.